Welcome back for today's Farm and Ranch News. And friends, the livestock video sale season continues. Today we're in Billings, Montana at the Northern Livestock Videos Summer Classic Sale. And I tell you what, Joe Goggins joins us and the market is hot once again for these steers. Uh, Joe, what is the market like here this morning as we sell over 100,000 head of cattle this week? You know, it's been, uh, the demand has been unbelievable, uh, especially when you consider from uh, last year to this year. I mean, a lot of these calves are bringing from uh, 20 to $40 a hundred weight more than they did a year ago. Uh, the demand is deep. Uh, uh, the demand for these steer calves is, uh, uh, right now, it, it's, there's probably a little more spread between the steers and the heifers than some would like in some cases, but uh, I, I do think you'll see the demand for these uh, heifer calves uh, continue to increase as we move along just because of the shortage of cows we have. I mean, it, uh, if there's one thing we're not going to back up on is our idea that the, we're, we're short of cows. We're short of numbers, and I think the, the boys in the feedlot industry are, are coming to realize that as you can see, uh, uh, the demand for these cattle is really, really good, and uh, uh, we're having a great sale. Now, in the past, we have seen the past few years, excuse me, uh, heavier calves really being the uh, the premium for our feedlot operators, but these lighter calves, they're starting to bring good prices here this summer. Yeah, I, I just think everybody's looking down the road and and, uh, and kicking the can down the road a little bit further, because uh, sooner or later, we all kind of think that this thing could get really good. I mean, it's uh, it's about the, the those of us, it's about the cow-calf guy's time to to reap the benefits and uh, I mean uh, get a little more margin in these ranches and, and we're going to see that happen. Uh, uh, the, uh, you can sure tell the people that uh, you know, watch their program, watch the kind of bulls they buy, the, the genetics and the performance sure making a big difference today. Well Joe Goggins joins us here from the Northern Livestock Video Auction in Billings. We'll have more right after this. Beef farmers and ranchers around the country are implementing land conserving, wildlife protecting, award-winning environmental efforts. Learn more about how beef farmers and ranchers are rethinking the ranch. As we return back here in Billings, Montana at the Northern Livestock Video Auctions a Summer Special, Joe Goggins joins us and the market is hot. And of course, drought, that hot weather has impacted our, our herd size here in Montana, Wyoming and across the nation. How is that driving these prices today, Joe? Oh, I, I just think uh, the, the entire feeding industry has figured out that we're going to be short of cows. And uh, when you look at the amount of uh, cows that have gone through the local auction markets, not only in the state of Montana, but the western half of the United States. Uh, unbelievable the amount of cows that have gone to kill. And then you look at the amount of heifers that are on feed and the amount of she stock that are on feed. Uh, we're coming into a time here in the next two, three, four years where the, the cow-calf guy, the guy on the ranch, the guy selling his grass is going to have the leverage. And uh, I, I really think there's some real opportune times ahead and uh, sure sure a time to, to keep your she stock around you and get some good bulls around you because uh, I really do think this thing is going to stay good and stay good for quite a while. Now, obviously, we are seeing that spread on the heifers back quite a bit on these steers. Do you think more producers are going to hold on to those high-quality, fancy heifers uh, if they have feed? We've been blessed with moisture and a good share of our uh, trade area here, uh, not only in uh, the southern, uh, central part of Montana, but you get into Wyoming, the Dakotas, Nebraska, uh, the western half. We're getting some moisture, and we're going to grow some feed. And, uh, yeah, I do think you'll see some heifer retainment here, uh, uh, and they have to. And uh, I hope they do because we're coming into a time where uh, the whole world has found out they like the taste of this protein and uh, they're going to come to the United States to get it. We just got to provide it for them. That is very true. The world wants our beef and as Evan Slack always said, these prices are higher, higher. Reporting from the Northern Livestock Video Auction here in Billings, I'm Lane Nordlund.